funky. What is up you guys? Welcome back to Tara with Tay. Welcome to the Tay gang. If you've never been here before, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified every single time that I pull up. Alright? Um, if you saw my last video, let's talk about the switch up. I'll go from a t-shirt to whatever that was real quick, okay? Real quick. Okay, anyways, I'm done being obnoxious now. No, I'm not. I'm never done being obnoxious. Let me stabilize this this incense and so as you can tell from the title of this video we're going to talk about what hobby talent skill what can you do to bring some extra money into your life okay let's can we scoot back i know i got a big head but you ain't got to chop it like that like dang that's better okay uh for those that don't know death row records is just a uh music uh record label don't don't take it to heart all right anyways just had to put that out there for people that might not know but um yes i see you could tell from the title of this video we're going to talk about what hobby talent skill can you work towards monetizing so that you can put some extra money in your pocket dog what's in my pocket dog big face honey okay i'm so obnoxious today anyways if you'd like to book a personal reading hit the very first link in the description box so that you can get this personality just for you okay um and if you would like to check out my other channels be sure to check the uh links near the timestamps in the comment section okay i don't know why i'm all tongue tied and twisted okay tongue tied and twisted i'm pulling the cards as we speak let's get lifted okay anyways i okay i would apologize but i won't all right so we have four groups okay so here are our four groups all right we have four groups, four groups, four groups, four groups. All right, let's try to hold these as best we can, okay? Eh. If the way that I'm holding them doesn't suffice, uh, please feel free to um, pause the screen, meditate, pause, reflect, and pick a number one through four. That can be your option too. So we have one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Okay, anyways. One, two, three, four. I'm trying to keep them all in the light. All right. So, let's see. What talent, skill, hobby can you monetize? All right, so you can bring in a little extra cash. Unfortunately, we live in a world where we have to do shit like this. I digress. Let's hop to it. All right, so my group number ones, if you selected reverse, reverse, sorry, I, every time I see this, I think reverse, reverse, and um, that makes me smile because I associate it with someone that I used to work with when I was working like a nine to five. She was a beautiful soul, loved her so, so much. I'm sending so much love to her right now. Like, she's such a great, great person, okay? Ah. <sighs> So this has a lot to do with you giving good energy to people, okay? Giving good vibes, okay? Um, helping people to expel negative energy, okay? That's what I'm getting here immediately off the bat, okay? So what hobby, talent, skill can group number one monetize? This is something that not only helps you, but also helps other people as well okay so we have the empress that fell out with the ten of fire okay the empress with the ten of fire um it's something about preparation okay so now this is a general reading so please take everything with a grain of salt and use your own beautiful god-given mind to figure out what you can do because again i'm just the messenger giving you like little tads and bits of information for you to take and you run with okay but what i'm seeing here is that you're really good at organizing you're really good at um you've got to be kidding me you know what, we're gonna power through. And I hope you guys are okay with that, okay? But remember, I was just talking about you're really good about getting organized when shit 
does shit like that when things are unplanned and they just happen like that and you're like fuck i did not plan for that i didn't prepare for this you're really good about helping people prepare for the unexpected um emotional i don't know how distracting it is for you guys so i'll be back i just want you guys to know that spirit God makes no mistakes, okay? I'm on the third floor of an apartment complex. Why are you in the hallway with a leaf blower? And now I kid you not, there's somebody that's like hammering something on the wall. Okay, so what I'm getting here is that, as I was trying to say, you are really good about helping people make the best of shitty situations, circumstances. You're really good at pairing up with people and making the best of any given scenario here because we had the empress to come out with a ten of fire and then all that shit just happened but guess what we're still here we're still moving we're still evolving we're still growing and changing and doing the best that we can with this given situation okay so again you can do that in so many ways i'll i'll start listing examples if i feel like i am supposed to but i'm not gonna like stick any ideas in your head on purpose okay um, we have the Madre of Fire in the reverse here. I'm getting um, someone who helps to boost people's confidence, okay? So, all right. So, you can help be boost people's confidence by giving spiritual advice. Now, be cognizant of the way that you do this. You can do this through tarot, of course, and give your legal disclaimers. You can actually go to school and get um, certified to do certain things like that. But again, use your discernment. But I see that you work really well one-on-one -on -one with people. You are really good about making people feel special and boosting their confidence to um, make the best of the cards that they've been dealt, essentially, is what I'm getting here. Yeah, the Madre of Earth, okay? It's taking what you've been giving and multiplying it. You're really good about helping people do that. So, again, use your imagination, dog. You can, I, when I tell you, you can do so many things to, to use this energy. So, get creative. Like I said, I don't want to plant seeds in your mind if they don't need to be there. So, um, this is where your own intuition and discernment comes in, okay? So, we have the two of earth at the bottom of the deck. And I keep seeing 222 two, two and 22. And as I'm saying that, I saw 202. So, also, this could be um, you and another person coming together to create something as well. Like, maybe you and a business partner. But I'm just seeing that twos are really strong for you. And I just saw 211, which again breaks down to two too all right but it's something about working with someone working with people i'm being guided to take more tarot let's clarify the empress clarify the empress please and you guys see it's quiet now the world because that phase is over you show people through this hobby this talent this skill that you can monetize you show people that it's only temporary you gotta keep building through that, okay? So, motivational speaker, um, just, be, I, I don't even know, dog, because I was gonna say just being a best friend, but you can't be like, hey, dog, best friend, pay me to be your friend. This one wants to come out. The two of air, all these twos, all these twos keep coming out. It's about you being a really good match, a really good partner for people, okay? Clarify the Madre of Fire. This one wants to come out. The Seven of Earth. So the hobby talent skill that you can monetize has a lot to do with you teaching people patience. Teaching people, um, I'm, I'm hearing the term true essence of glory, okay? The true essence of glory. Clarify the Three of Water. This one wants to come out too. And it was a 10 of air. Thank you. So your hobby talent skill that you can monetize has a lot to do with working with other people. The three of pentacles here to clarify that. Working with other people, most, most specifically one-on-one -on -one with someone or you and someone else. So you and a business partner working with one other separate entity and working towards some sort of spiritual enlightenment, awakening. I just saw 411, which is like, hey, information. Like you are that... Um, that form of information that people need, that next step to inspire them to keep going, okay? Let's see. What hobby, talents, skit? Okay, for some of you, flower arranging, okay? 
um, wedding planning I'm seeing here. And okay, let me specify. This doesn't mean that you're just gonna start making money overnight. You gotta build a firm foundation for 44. That was the plan. You have to build towards this. This is not no instant gratification. So that's the that's the theme of this week. Stop expecting instant gratification. I'm not getting on to you guys. Um, I'm just getting on to whoever need to hear it because we all get stuck in this toxic cycle of expecting things exactly. And that's when we start suffering in silence when we don't get what we want right away. Okay, so and I feel like that's a part of your um, your talent, bro. You teaching people patience. How can you teach people patience? Somebody let me know. Um, tarot okay the, some of you guys really need to step into tarot like no even if you've never touched tarot cards before if you've been curious but you're like oh i'm not good enough fuck that try it if you want to as she said sweetly anyways <laughs> let's see what else can we add here what hobby talent skill can group number one monetize okay i'm also getting just being a business partner in general like investing in certain um people Damn, investing in certain people's businesses, okay? There we go. My throat chakra is tickling, tickling, tickling. Yes, okay, also helping people get over heartbreak, loss, grievances. Again, now this, you have to, you have to be mindful that some things require you to have certain qualifications through certification exams or going to school for it. So I ain't tell you to go be uh, a therapist and you get what I'm saying like you have to use your own discernment okay but again this is not instant gratification okay this is something that is built up over time look at that this is wealth built up over time overlooking the garden that you've created for yourself your 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 life all right look look solar plexus in the reverse like I said that you help people to build up their confidence okay this is okay i was getting triggered to say this memories of love is making me think this some of you are really good is it regressive therapy like helping people to tap back into things of the past that kind of screwed them up making them come to peace with it somehow and then moving forward again keep in mind you might have to be certified in certain ways to do something like that but um take that if you want okay uh now let's let's continue what can this group uh do to monetize a hobby talent skill gateway this is definitely something that you do on your own this is not something that you uh, that you like okay so what i'm seeing here is like maybe you'll Okay, so honestly, I know how I was saying that um, this is something to be mindful about. Like, you can't just be a fucking therapist without going to school for it. But honestly, I do see that this is something that you um, definitely forge for yourself here, okay? So I just want you to know that I do see that this is definitely something that you forge on your own. Like, you, you create this path on your own. Um, so that's kind of like a hint for you if you're watching this group and you're like oh i don't have to go to school to this do this i don't have to get certified to do that okay like you you're finding thank you you're finding your own way to success and honestly i'm seeing it as like you building up a community like this could be on youtube okay i'm hearing on twitch um there's so many platforms guys there's so many out there so please i don't even know but just take this as it resonates okay but i see you building up your own community and working with that and like creating your own safe space with that and somehow it involves you working with people and helping them come to peace with where they come from wow look at that how fucking specific for some of you you can make music and do this okay let's see what else and again this is not no instant gratification so please keep that in mind um we have rain purification for some of you this is some sort of like water healing um i just happen bitch i just happen to look over at the tv sorry i just i happen to look over at the tv and i see the rain the rain sounds that i'm playing on a youtube channel you could do something like that to break in some extra cash you know like you never know what you can create okay you never know unless you try so get creative 
What do you do that makes you stand out? What do you do that allows you to bring peace, healing, and love to other people? What allows you to help other people get organized, to relax, to find their zen? And this is not something that you have to try really hard to do, okay? This is something that comes natural to you, all right? Full moon completion and tree grounding exactly this is something that you were like it's in your innate nature to do something like this okay whatever it is that comes to your mind for some of you i'm getting photography as well here i'm seeing something about skies or okay or painting um okay now i'm getting art therapy um like uh showing people how to paint something okay um but wind activation this is also giving people the words that they need to start something to go do something like literally what i'm doing right here right now i'm trying to give you the motivation to go out and start something you could do the same thing okay look at that it's something that you would love okay this is something that you genuinely enjoy doing this is not something that you have to try too hard with okay scissors disappointment in some affair this just fell into my lap and it doesn't basically it allows you to cut the cords um from things that are dissatisfying to you okay it doesn't require you to um sacrifice your own happiness and we have heart great happiness here let's get two more tea leaf cards pineapple reconciliation okay for a lot of you um oh my gosh okay that was really random but obviously i should have thought of that um partner couple counseling okay now that does require um like going to school getting some sort of certification okay wow chair empty someone is leaving your life um also a therapist um it who might help people that have lost a lover due to a breakup or a sudden loss or um uh like a loss of a parent a family member whatever the case may be but i'm just really picking up you can monetize your your heart strings okay the way the way that you monetize something some hobby talent or skill in your life is through the heart strings okay and cutting toxic cords okay this light flickers every now and then sorry but what can i do um bottom of the deck butterfly a change for the better you whatever this is it helps you and others around you transform for the better so i hope that this brought you a little bit of love peace healing clarity but most importantly truth to kind of guide you onto the right path to say like all right i've been considering doing this and she kind of just describes something like that you know it's a general reading so take it as it take it as it resonates but if it's for you you already know you just needed a little a little umph, a little push to actually get you started. So I hope that this is exactly what you needed. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. I hope this brought a little bit of peace, love, light, healing, clarity. But like I said, most importantly, truth. Leave love in the comment section down below to let me know if this resonated or not. Hey, like I said, general readings, what can you do? Um, if you would like to book a personal reading, hit the very first link in the description box to make that happen. And um, if you would like to support my other channels, be sure to hit the links near the timestamps. But without further ado, let's get into group number two. Group number two, if you selected this red nine uno card, then this is your reading, okay? This is your reading. Oh my gosh, is that offensive? Oh my gosh, me and these fucking accents. I hope it's not. Anyways, all right, so let's find out. Let's find out what can group number two do with said hobby, talent, skill. What, which one can we monetize? I'm hearing there's multiple for this group. All right, there's multiple for this group. Okay, I'm picking up an advice column, a blog, um, something like that, coming through immediately. Wow, the three of air. Um, a lot of you I'm getting writers. Um, talk about how you um, overcame certain things, um, heartbreaks that you've dealt with. Um, for some of you, this could quite literally be like you just pouring your heart out, your stories out on the internet. Because unfortunately, I'm picking up that some of you have been through something so misfortunate that people wouldn't even fucking believe it. They would love to hear about it. Look at that, the four of air. Um, in the reverse so we have the three of air followed by the four of air in the re in the reverse 
All right, so these are my my men my mentality, folks. How how did you renew yourself? Okay, so I'm getting this as you somehow expressing the things that you've gone through and how you overcame them, how you moved past it, how you became emotionally stable from these things again. Okay, now let me talk about my favorite line of the week instant gratification we're not talking about that this is not something that you're just going to create and then boom i'm motherfucking famous and rich overnight no it's life don't work that way not for the majority of us okay so look at that this is something that you put a lot of time effort energy into something that you build up over time for a lot of you i'm really picking up a website here and i'm is that a fucking onion yes it's about the tears that you have cried that demon voice yes <laughs> 222 as i said that okay um but yeah it's about the tears that you have cried and how you overcame them the chariot just came and bounced right on top of that onion that i was looking at look at that the two of water how i found my peace again from these heartbreaking heart-wrenching situations let's clarify the three of air all right spirit's like no we don't want to do that <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and go to this next deck then. But this is definitely about how did you keep pushing? How did you keep striving? How did you keep going? Wow. How did you not stay trapped in fear? So this is talking about your deepest truths. And this takes a lot of courage, a lot of heart, which is why this is not something that will happen overnight. Because this is the thing now. You can confess all your sins on the internet all you want to, but if you don't pour your actual heart into it, it won't touch any souls. And if you're not touching any souls, you're not changing anyone's lives, you're not helping anyone, you're not gonna get anything from that, my friend. You have to be in alignment with who you truly are. 333 is I'm saying that. And you have to be in alignment with how your, how, how your soul truly felt. Look at that, emotional loss in the reverse. We have to feel what you're saying. So your hobby, talent, skill, ability really has a lot to do with how deep can you really get in tune with your emotions? How, how honest can you really be? All right. This one wants to come out. Wow. And this is a part of your destiny. This is a part of your alignment. This is when the wheel will turn for you. This is when your life will change when you decide to be vulnerable. Now, take this with a grain of salt because you can you can be vulnerable and express your truths in so many different avenues so many different aspects something about the stars so even astrology okay for some of you you can um you're able to align your birth chart and talk about how it affected you at that exact time in your life and how it's really true basically i'm almost seeing like you proving how things um of of the stars are true so again Take this as it resonates and take it with a grain of salt. But I'm seeing that you shining the light on something, some aspect, taking off a mask, showing people who you really are, what you've really been through, is a part of what you can do to monetize a hobby, talent, or skill. What is that? Okay. Wow. And this is not something, again, this is not something that you can do overnight. It takes a lot of mental shifting. I saw 5'11 as I saw that, and that is a number that I associate with shifting the mentality, your mental health, changing your spiritual being, your spiritual body, okay? And we have, I can't make it up. Spiritual strength. The hobby, talent, or skill that you can monetize has a lot to do with you speaking up or typing out your truths, how you got through it, for some of you, this could even be you typing it out right now, and in the future, this formulates a book. This formulates something, it, like it, it grows into something, okay? But you just never know where your truth will take you. There's a reason why these things happen to you. Sometimes they're not always meant to be kept a secret. And I just saw 555. I, I honestly feel like as a, as a society, as a whole, we are shifting from trying to keep secrets to allowing our secrets to keep us, okay? And what I mean by that, is wearing your secrets on your sleeve, wearing your heart on your sleeve so that nothing can be held against you. Okay, let that sink in. I have synergy that just popped out in the reverse here. That's talking about 
two energies coming together and sinking and it's that that light and that dark how did you make light of the darkness in your life the shit that was made to keep you down how did you overcome it okay look how did you stay grounded how did you remain beautiful how did you continue to bear fruit people want to hear your story I'm hearing in all the king's horsemen and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Again, it's this story. It's almost like you are like Humpty Dumpty that fell off the wall. But the thing is, is that your story is different. Where you were supposed to fall and couldn't be put back together. Look at you. Your cracks have been filled in with gold. Okay. You've been made new again from this ice cold tundra that you were sunk into for so long. Look, but you made dreams come true out of that. People want to know how you did that. There's people in the low, dirty, dark slums of life that want to hear your story so that they too can be inspired. Don't be ashamed of your past, no matter what you've been through. I know it's tough, but it's time for you to come out of your cave and tell your story. You see how his writing is on the wall. I know y'all felt that get real serious, okay? I'm in, a, I'm in a really giddy, jokey mood today, but I know y'all felt that. It takes courage, 808 as I'm saying this, it takes courage to express this part of you, to show this part of you. But you came to this video for truth, not comfort. Okay, look, going forward, you are the true embodiment of your past does not define you. We wanna hear about it. We wanna hear your story. We wanna know how you know that God is real. We wanna know. Some of you, quite literally got saved because I keep hearing like from my old church days in the mighty omnipotent name of Jesus. I keep hearing that. Some of us want to want to hear that. We want to hear your story of being saved 909 as I'm saying this. There's a lot of alignment here. You, it's almost as if you fear giving too much of yourself is going to open you up to too much with people. Not at all. You're still gonna have your boundaries. You're still gonna have your truth. We have diligence in the reverse here. But we just wanna hear how you did it because it's going to inspire someone else. You, all this work that you put in, it deserves to be put on a pedestal. I don't even take these cards in the reverse, but I'm taking them as a interpreting the message. Look, how did you tap into a higher power your higher self to know that there was more out there than the shit that was fed to you. How did you know? Wow, hand in need of help, assistance, guidance. This is you for other people now. I'm getting chills. We need your voice. Wheel, indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly, involvement with the law. Some of you have a story to tell with your run-ins with the law. How did you overcome that? How did you boss up over um, doing time? Whatever the case may be, we need, you, we need to hear you. How did you find joy? How did you find the light? How did you get lucky after all this time? After all those tears you cried, how did you do it? I'm gonna go ahead and leave your reading right here because this one's really straightforward. In order for you to monetize your um, talent, hobby, skill, you have to you have to share your secrets. And the thing is, is that no one can hold your truth against you if you stand in it. Your secrets can't embarrass you if you stand in it. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. I hope this brought a little bit of peace, love, light, healing, clarity, but most importantly, truth. All right. Um, leave love in the comment section down below to let me know if this resonated, even if it didn't. As you know, it's a general reading. How it goes is how it goes. 
and um, pray. Take this to the Lord to know that it is yours. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for your beautiful energy. And I'm going to go ahead and get into group number three. Group number three, I'm seeing Kim Possible. All right. We have this red number six. Kim Possible, call me baby if you want to reach me. It's okay whenever you need me, baby. Call me, beat me if you want to reach me. Oh, excuse me. All right, so, and I'm hearing solid as a rock. So in some way, shape or form, you can monetize a hobby, talent or skill by being reliable. Now this is a general reading, so take this as it applies. Take my, my guidance as um, a grain of salt and apply it to your whole meal, okay? I'm just, I'm just a grain of salt in your storyline. Don't make me make your whole timeline. No, that's not what we're here for. All right. Yeah. All right. The Hydra of Earth came out with the Six of Earth. Okay, so this group, you're coming out very meticulous, very quiet, well thought out. Like you're trying to help somebody plan something. Ah, okay. Um, any of y'all heard of Bahati Life Apothecary? If you know um, anything about her, that's the kind of energy that I'm picking up here is um, like people send their, their, the things that they want to release to you. People trust you. And like I said, you are that steadfast, that always, always there, always um, reliable for people, okay? It's something about energy work for you. My hand is itching. My hand is itching, okay? Now some of y'all, this could literally quite be about, quite literally be about getting money. But it's really what I'm picking up is the energy in your hands. Like you have tangible work, like in your hands, energy in your hands. And I feel like this flame over here just started dancing. As I said that, and I was looking at this flame right here. It's something about you working with fire that um, assists people, okay? Wow. We have the two of fire here. And again, I just feel like it's you helping people to cut old ties, burn that shit to flames, and then plan ahead for their new life. You could do that in so many different ways. So again, I am the grain of salt in your meal, but it's really ultimately what you want it to be. The hermit here. This is something that you do away from people, okay? This is not something that you, this is something very intimate very intimate like you either work one-on-one -on -one with people or just by yourself or one-on-one one-on-one -on -one for a minute but it's something that you craft for people this could even be jewelry um i'm picking up okay so you know how people use resin to create like really pretty things like i'm seeing like a water bowl being created out of resin and it has like flowers in it okay so i'm not sure but yeah, this is my, my crafty group. Like you quite literally can use your hands. Um, you can create bundles of sage for people. Um, there, it's like y'all could, spices, herbs. These are my real witchy bitches. I, if you don't like that term, you probably shouldn't be on this channel because you know me, I don't give a shit about them terms. 333, as I said that, um, I don't care about labels. That's not me. So, um, yeah, I just had to put that out there. But it's something where you're in charge, you're the boss, you take the lead, and they follow. Not in a, not in a weird way, not in a nasty way, but like, you're in charge. Wow. Okay, victory and success. This is something that you do working from home as well. I'm also seeing in a garden, some of you might literally want to garden and sell your um, the fruits of your labor, quite literally, okay? With the base chakra here, it's something about getting down to the nitty gritty, the down and dirty, something that you really make love to, my guy. Like this is something that you, you genuinely come from the heart with this, okay? If you tried to make this out of malice or like just doing it for the money, it won't work. It won't sell. I can guarantee you that. Just as much love as you put in, you will then receive as much tangible funds. The third eye here. 
This is also giving me, um, helping people to clear the blockages, 444 as I'm saying this, clear the blockages in their life. Remember I talked about um, you, people sending you their worries, their troubles, whatever the case may be. You doing whatever it is that you, you do, you magical juju witchy bitch you. You do your thing and you really help to release people from their, their past heartache, pains, trauma, losses, whatever the case may be. Um, and help them to, to cultivate a whole new way of being. Wow, patience in the reverse. Look at this. You see what he's doing, right? Planting seeds. I was also gonna say, I was getting this energy of something that didn't work in the past, something that like really took off and like it built up to something really massive. I'm seeing that this is like your client, okay? They built something really massive. But then they said, fuck it all. I'm going to destroy it because maybe I was involved with a partner that I don't want to be with. It was something dishonest. Whatever the case may be, I want to plant new seeds. Somehow people come to you to plant new seeds, to um, usher in new energy, to feel revitalized, to feel renewed, rejuvenated, okay? One more. And didn't I say that this is something that you do on your own at home? Like this is something that is very you and only you focus. You and only you based. You and only you can do this. The way that you do it. What else can we add here? Abundance in the reverse. Remember I talked about that thing that they built up and it just wasn't what they wanted it to be? Destroy it. Create something new. You also can somehow monetize your hobby, talent, skills by helping people start something new. Like literally giving them the, the courage to start over. When something that they thought would work for them didn't work, let them know. That was for that chapter. Let's find out what's in your next chapter. Look at that, adventures. Let's take a deep dive to see where else we can go. Like, I just see you really brushing off whatever endings occur. Uh, ah. You guys wear multiple hats too. Like, this is quite literally you, multiple hats. I'm seeing a hat in one of these images. You literally can monetize different things, okay? That's what I'm seeing here many different things but it's something really about getting like to the nitty gritty down and dirty like i quite literally see you putting your hands in some dirt okay molding clay okay come through then some of you this is um something that's very slow to build um but it's very profitable because you really take your time with this so this could also be painting this could be sculpting anything okay this could be anything Remember, I am the salt in your entire meal. So yes, I might add a little bit of flavor, but essentially, if you don't know what you're doing, my salt ain't gonna nothing for you. Ooh. Ocean, ebb and flow. You are meant to monetize a lot of different things. Or not, let me not say a lot. Um, you're meant to monetize multiple things so that when one is not feeding you the way that you want it to, you can... Let it do what it do while you go over here and do something else. Exactly. When, when things go stagnant in one place or you no longer feel inspired to do something over there, you have multiple streams of income coming in from other ways. Look at that. And it's effortless here. The things that you do, you do not have to go out of your way to do them. This is simply, like I said, only things that you can do. Remember, I was talking about energy. I keep picking up energy. And for a lot of you, it's something that you do with your right hand, okay? Now I'm hearing Drake. You my right hand. You my go-to. Tell me everything about you. That's a bold move, okay? Crystals, focus. I know that you're out here and there's things you gotta go through. Just know that these trees just don't love you like I do. Let me get one more. And they never will. Okay. Bro, if you guys don't garden, I, I think you should try. That's okay. So yeah, I know I'm just a grain of salt, but I just want you to know that something that you do with your hands, something that you build with your hands, something that you do with energy in your hands, 
um, something that you create like I'm getting like crystals oils flowers uh, just is eh, something I don't know okay this is for you to figure out all right but you can do you can create something really 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 beautiful and magical okay and it's something that only you can do like only you can put your touch of love onto this thing okay let's go ahead and get some tea leaf cards to close out we have fair man april okay give me some time these are coming out Someone that once had all the confidence in the world lost something that really meant something to them and you show them how to get their passions back. It's something about you helping people get their passions back, um, helping people to um, reprogram their mindset, to think positively towards the light, to show them that their issue is only temporary and they're guaranteed success if they continue to push forward. I'm gonna go ahead and leave your reading right here. We have bird perch waiting for a news package letter at the bottom of the deck. Maybe that's significant to somebody out there. I'm gonna go ahead and leave your reading right here. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. I hope it's brought a little bit of peace, love, light, healing, clarity, truth, but most importantly, let me say it again, truth, 1111 as I'm saying this. Go out there, make this shit happen. Remember, I am just a grain of salt in your meal, okay? Yes, I can help but I can't make the meal for you, all right? So what will you create with the little bit of salt that I just gave? Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in and um, leave love in the comment section down below. If you'd like to book a personal reading, hit the very first link in the description box to make that happen. If you would like to check out my other channels, then go ahead and check out the timestamps where there's other links and whatnot. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Group number four, if you pick this green nine with the underscore. I really wanted to make that rhyme really bad, so I feel like these are my my poets, my writers, my artists, and I'm like getting really rock on, and maybe you could dance. I'm really rock on any block. Maybe you're from the block where they milly of the rocks. Sorry, I'm not sorry. All right, let's see. Oh my gosh, you're like, no long talking, let's go. Yeah, the chariot, okay, so the hobby talent skill that you can monetize has something to do with fast swift okay uh, now i'm hearing every time i come in nigga gotta set it then i gotta go and then i gotta get it okay so you could literally talk fast you could literally be a fast rapper um that like twist up okay let me see i know everybody if you know that song we all tried we all tried okay let's see what's going on here what can this group monetize? We have the lovers. I'm getting this energy of collaborating with people. Some of you guys could quite literally make like flower crowns, flower wreaths, something with flowers, plants, something that you can wear, okay? But I literally see you like gathering information, outside finding inspiration this gonna take some time to build up what is this hold on i'm gonna keep building this story because it's not clear yet which i feel like is the point it's gonna make sense the ace of fire exactly okay so what i'm seeing here is that you have this passion this drive for something that you're good at but you feel inexperienced it's going to all come together when it's supposed to and you're gonna know exactly what you're meant to monetize we have a ten of fire it's something about you creating one single thing and then multiplying that 10 times. Like I'm literally like picturing, cause remember I was talking about like music in the beginning, like, ah, okay. And um, let's say if you are a musician creating an album with 10 songs, okay. Um, a poet creating a poetry book with 10 poems 
Uh, if you want to write a book, writing 10 chapters, okay? It's something about tens. Okay, I'm hearing tens and fives. There's a lot on your plate though. There's a lot here, okay? It's coming through. I believe in it. I believe in it. Clarify the chariot, okay. Exactly. We have accelerated motion, also known as the eight of wands with new beginnings, so the fool. It's something about you looking to the heavens, you praying. Ah, that's different. I ain't never heard of no shit like that. Some of you can quite literally monetize interpreting signs for people, interpreting a dream, or people will come to you, pay you somehow, and you have a dream that answers a question for them like this is this i ain't never i ain't never seen no shit like this before in my life i ain't never seen no shit like this before in my life to make a wish come true you're like a fucking genie but of course it's all through the grace of god that's why i'm like god what is this superpower because i've never seen it before the five of cups in the reverse. It's almost like you could grant a wish. How you make money off of this? Ah, okay, 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 okay. Okay, so another thing, this again, I, as I told my last group, I'm seeing 444, they're like, yeah, she's finally getting it, finally on track, okay. So, like I was telling my last group, I am a grain of salt in your whole meal. Meaning, yeah, I add some flavor, but at the end of the day, the meal is what you decide it is, okay? But what I'm seeing here, how do I want to explain this? Let's say that somebody's like, yo, like literally, that's why I was getting so much like chaotic energy because it's coming from everywhere. You got clients that want to be rappers. You got clients that want to be writers. You got clients that want to um be world-renowned skaters you got clients that want to whatever you have clients that do any and everything you have clients that want to blow the biggest bubble somehow you found a way to monetize helping them get started so i'm not sure of the formal term of that but someone who allows who um helps people get started on their business ventures okay for some of you, it could quite literally be giving them the, the strength that they need um, to, to go after this thing. Memories of love. You somehow monetize helping people get their ideas off the ground. Now, leave comments um, down below if you know like the formal term of that, but I know that there's literally people that do that, um, that they get, like, I'm pretty sure you have to be certified or go to school or something like this, but it could be like even a life coach or something like that, but helping people to get their ideas off the ground, okay? To actually get it going, to actually get shit started and helping them along the way um, every now and then with like spiritual advice, spiritual guidance, um, and just little truths that they need, okay? We have enlightenment that came in the reverse. What is this in the reverse? Wow. We have enlightenment in the reverse being clarified by illumination. So it's essentially them enlightened to say like, I know that I can make this happen, but I don't know how. You come in and somehow your hobby, talent, or skill allows them to monetize, I mean, you monetize, well, yeah, you also allow them to monetize as well because you give them the idea, the drive, whatever it is that they need. I'm also getting like this energy of like a business partner here too. Look at that leadership. 
but you motivate people to take the lead in their own life to say, okay, this is what I want to do. This is how I'm going to chase it. But I just need a little assistance along the way. I need an opportunity. So um, you could also be the type to like have a lot of um, ways to open doors for people um, because you have access to a lot of people that really love and cherish you, care for you. But again, oh, let me talk about this. Thank you, Spirit. Let's talk about my favorite term for this video in this week. Instant gratification is something that we are not talking about meaning this is not something that is going to just happen overnight this is something that is built over time you can start building it right now but that doesn't mean that you're going to be rich off of this tomorrow but look at that it's you somehow creating a gateway for people you monetize creating ways for people through you all right through your resources okay um yeah that's interesting look at that openness you are just somehow able to open a new realm for people um to chase the dream to chase the success it's almost like you're a miracle worker in a sense we had a month to fall out july um we have cancer leo no july i don't know i'm not gonna break my brain about it anyways <laughs> um but we have chain of events that will affect your life yeah exactly it's like this is something that happens over time like you are brought into some sort of limelight spotlight and you come into contact with people along the way thank you um people that wear many hats and this allows you look at that and collaboration working together um towards some sort of success this allows you to link different people to say hey you would work well with this person that i know you would work well with this person that i look like i said i am the salt in your meal i only help the flavor well family wishes come true it's almost as if you build a family okay i'm getting like some dreamville shit here my guy like how j cole has dreamville records like and there's opportunities for everyone to eat that's what i'm seeing here somehow you figure out how to monetize that an exciting event Bottom of the deck, spear, heartache over what you no longer have, making the best over what is no longer there or making the best of a situation that you're like, how do I, not you, but like your client, how do I even do this? Again, you're just really good about turning things into their, into their favor, your favor. You're really all about helping everyone. You're really about um, letting everyone eat. And I'm really getting that this is a lot of people that you already know, people that you might have lost touch with, but you guys are going to come back in touch. But again, we are not here for instant gratification. This is about a hobby, talent, or skill that you can monetize in your lifetime, okay? So you can start now, but that doesn't mean that you're going to be making money tomorrow. So don't shoot the messenger all right i hope this brought a little bit of peace love light healing clarity but most importantly truth and inspiration to show what's already within you okay so keep that in mind keep these ideas in mind as you move along your journey maybe maybe this is like the next puzzle piece that you needed to get you from where you are to where you're trying to go but either way leave love in the comment section down below to let me know if this resonated i know it wasn't a straight answer but hey tarot is never meant to be a straight answer i'm just here to trigger something in your mind to get the, the gears going i see 11 11 which tells me that i'm in perfect alignment with what the fuck i'm saying so therefore i'm not worried about it <laughs> thank you guys so, so much for tuning in i hope this brought a little bit of peace love light healing clarity most importantly truth like i said and if you would like to support my other channels check out the links here the timestamps. and if you would like to book a personal reading hit the very first link in the description box to make that happen but without further ado i'll see you guys in my next video bye